Hello! If you haven't updated your Zoom app in a little while, it's time to do that today because a new update came out and they just made it way easier to deal with some uh, unexpected visitors, Zoom bombers that start creating havoc in your meetings. And it's actually really cool and really simple. So I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on what is possible now. Um, so if you are opening up your Zoom app, and as you can see right now, I just joined as myself here as a second uh, person from my phone. And let's say this is the Zoom bomber on that side that you want to get rid of. You now have these new features on the bottom of the screen that, um, hold on, you can't see in here, but you should see here. So on the bottom, you have these security settings. Let me just switch back to this so that way this is not so distracting. So if you click that security button, there's now a few new things. First of all, if you just go from the top, there's now an option to hide profile pictures, which is really cool if you're, uh, if people are, first of all, putting some inappropriate profile pictures up there and you wanna remove that, you could just do that. But also if you're facilitating any types of activities where you wanna make sure that nobody shows their profile pictures, I'm thinking specifically of a blind dating event where we wanted to have two people have a conversation but not see the other person. Now, even if they have a profile picture, they wouldn't show up. So that's really cool. Um, so going back there, so that's the first change. And then the other changes are, you now can allow participants to start their video or put that check mark off. And if you turn that off, anybody who has their camera off will not be able to start it and turn it back on. Um, and if you want to change that for everyone, again, like everything's good, no Zoom bumpers disappeared, you can uh, allow them to start their camera again. And then this is the biggest one. The biggest new feature is suspend participant activities. And once you click that button, you just have to um, kind of read through this little notice. Hold on, here you can see it which says, uh, suspend all participant activities, everyone's video and audio will be turned off, screen sharing will, be, will stop, chat will be disabled, and the meeting will be locked. And you can also directly report this to Zoom. Um, and the cool thing is that this is one button that just stops everything. So if you have a Zoom bomber show up or something is not working out, you just hit that one button and this will buy you time to figure out what's happening. Uh, this will buy you time to remove the people that have joined uh, and you want to kick out without them still being able to do stuff um, in your meeting. So if you click that button, uh, all participant activities have been suspended. It actually automatically pops up the participants window, which now you can find the person that is uh, the uninvited guest and if you just click more and then remove it will remove that person from the meeting and kick them out so uh, as you can even see um, I'll go back to gallery view the zoom bomber now their camera is turned off and if I start to turn it on it will actually give me a message on my phone you cannot start your video because the host has disabled it and if I try to unmute myself, the same thing. The host is not allowing participants to unmute themselves. And uh, if I try to share screen, it says only the host can share in this meeting. So no uh, real option for me to do anything anymore. So let's kick out this Zoom bomber, remove and remove them. And again, this will give you a little checkbox if you want to report it to Zoom, because I'm doing a test. I don't want to do that. But if you do, their account might be flagged and they might not be able to join any other meetings. So we'll remove that person. And now it's just me, myself and I, if I wanted to make sure that everyone can uh, rename themselves and share their, uh, start their video again, I can make sure start their video. They can unmute themselves. They can rename themselves. They can chat. Don't want to necessarily share their screen. Let's show profile pictures again. And um, we'll leave the meeting locked, which is a good thing to do anytime you have somebody 
show up as a zoom bomber make sure it's locked so that way you don't have to worry about any future disruptions so that's a little update on the zoom app if you don't know how to update it uh, i highly recommend checking out this other video that i have on um, how to update your zoom app um, it's pretty simple just takes a couple of seconds but you want to make sure that you do that every every couple of weeks because zoom is bringing out new updates so that way you get to use all of these really cool features all right let me know if you have any questions and um, make sure to subscribe for more zoom tips hold on i need to find my little subscribe uh, animation hold on hold on this is new for me all right make sure you subscribe and i will see you soon high five